today we are doing Adam's Peri Peri Chicken and today I'm going to be making it for you. So with that, let's get into it. In the description below, I will give you the entire recipe. But basically, it is orange juice, spices, peppers, onion, olive oil, garlic, vinegar, lemon juice. If you don't have one of these juji machine thingies, it ain't a problem. Either use a blender or you can just mix it by hand. Everything's going to go into a plastic packet anyway, so don't stress about it too much. I just want to just use it and uh, get the uh, the veg to just be a little bit uh, smaller pieces. Okay, so guys, what you need to do is you need to get a pack of eight cut up chicken portions, put into a bag. The sauce that we made is going to go into the packet so let's just turn the bag inside out on the side hold it and we're then going to pour the sauce into cool okay so i'm going to show you quite a cool trick if you don't have a vacuum bag machine, I'm going to show you how you're able to vacuum bag, vacuum pack, seal your food without one. Please will you consider liking, sharing and subscribing so you don't miss out on another video. Get a bowl of water, put the chicken with the sauce, make sure that it is a double sealed bag at the top and as you put it into the water make sure you don't overfill it like what I've done and it will automatically get rid of all of the unnecessary air in the bag so the awesome thing about science is the water pressure take out the bag vacuum packed without a vacuum packer Brilliant, just brilliant. It's going to marinate overnight. Um, from a marinating and keeping the chicken in the liquid, do not marinate more than 24 hours. Okay guys, we have now taken the chicken out of the fridge. It's been about, uh, give or take, 20 hours or so. <coughs> this is what the packet is looking like. It is looking delicious. If a packet is meant to look delicious, it is looking delicious. Cool, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the chicken into a foil dish, and then we are going to put it onto a fire grill for it to get nice and brown. Preheat your oven to 400, and we're going to get it into the oven for about an hour. It'll stay in the sauce, just keep on just flipping it over a couple of times, and keep it in the sauce cooking until it is, surprise, surprise, cooked. Jess, and I never thought I would even say that. Off to the fire pit we go. Dun, dun, dun. So guys, we have taken it off the fire. Uh, the total amount of cooking time has been about two hours, maybe two hours, 10 or so. Um, it is smelling spectacular, truly awesome. Okay, time to tuck into it. But before that, look how beautiful these pieces are. This is incredible. Okay, time to get into this chicken. 
Mm. You have the flavor from the wood. You have the charcoal flavor. This chicken is super, super soft. All that marinating, the vinegar and the lime was just awesome. This recipe is probably the finest chicken that I've actually got to eat. This is, wow. The heat is not particularly crazy, uh, but it is, the flavor is awesome. Your hands are gooey, your mouth is gooey, your face is gooey. You have more mess on your face than you can imagine and it is remarkable. That's all I can tell you. For all the mess in China and for all the mess on your fingers, this is worth every little bit of effort. I need to clean my face. Now that I look semi-normal with the dirtiness of the paper towel. My word. This is a messy exercise. Give it the time. If you're not in the mood of getting yourself all smoky and fired up, just keep the chicken in the oven, turn it over a couple of times, and this will reward you more than you can imagine. And all I can say after this is, catch you guys on the next one.